Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be doing an exponential regression. So this is going to be number two on our nonlinear classwork. So for number two, it asks us to find an exponential regression for the data. So to put in our data, I'm going to choose a chart. So to do that, I'm going to go up here to the top left, and I'm going to click the plus button, and we can add a table. Now for this table, all the X values are going to go on the left side, and all the Y values are going to go in on the right side. So our X values for this example is going to be 1880, 1890, 1900, 1910, 1920, and 1930. Now we're going to put in our Y values. I have 8800, 4109, 3154, 2323, 1130, and 575. So we put in our X values and our Y values, but we can't see them yet on our screen. So what I'm going to do is at the bottom of the box, I'm going to hit this magnifying glass called Zoom Fit. And when I hit it, I'll be able to see all of the dots in our scatter plot. So now what I want to do is I want to create an exponential regression because while these dots over here may seem to follow a linear pattern, actually this dot is going to cause the exponential regression to make much more sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in box number two and we're going to type in our exponential regression equation. I'm going to use Y1 and now I need the regression symbol, the tilde. So I'm going to click on the bottom where it says show keypad and I'm going to go to ABC at the bottom. There'll be capital letters, ABC. I'm going to click that. And on the bottom row of our keypad, you'll see this squiggle right here. And that's going to be our regression symbol. So I'm going to click that. And now I can put in my exponential expression. I'm going to use A times B. And I'm going to raise that B to the power of X1. So up here, you'll see A to the B power. That's going to make an exponent. We're going to click that. And I'm going to choose X1. So I'm going to use X and a one. So that's going to give us our exponential equation. Now down here in box two, it'll say log mode. For log mode, your base for the exponential expression is going to automatically be E. And I'm not going to be using that for this example. Over here in statistics, it'll give you the R squared value. Our R squared value for this example is 0.9706 which is fairly close to one, which means that our regression is well suited for the data. Over here under residuals, we'll see our error terms. I'm gonna click the plot button. So now at the bottom of the screen, you'll see our error terms. The more that the error term strays from the x-axis, the more error you'll see for the associated dot. So this dot, is quite far from the regression curve. So it's gonna have a much larger error than for example, this dot. Okay, so now we have our parameters at the bottom. It gives us what A is and what B is. And we're gonna use those to create our exponential function. We're gonna click in box three and we're gonna use our function notation F of X equals. So now I need my A term I'm gonna put this in parentheses. I'm gonna use 7.5915 times 10 to the 46 power, which is a very large number. And I'm gonna close that up inside parentheses. Next, I'm gonna use my B value. I'm also gonna put that in parentheses. My B value is 0.948752. And I'm going to close that up and I'm going to raise it to the X power. And that's going to create my green exponential curve that you see right here. So the green curve should match up with the red curve because we're using the exact same numbers that they give us at the bottom. And now what we can do is we can make predictions based on the curve. So this question says we need to predict what Y is when the year is 1940. 
So over here on our chart, we stop at 1930, but what would happen if we continued on to 1940? What would that Y value be? Well, we can get a good approximation of what that is. We're gonna click in box number four and we're gonna type in F of 1940. So our X value is 1940 and our Y value is gonna show up at the bottom, which we can round to the nearest whole number, which is 360. So if this chart was to continue down to 1940, the Y value would be 360. So that is an exponential regression and I hope that helps.